two Hollywood stars accused of modern day McCarthyism. Upon news of a fundraiser for President Trump in Beverly Hills, Will and Grace stars are calling to reveal Hollywood's Trump supporters. Aaron McCormick tweeted, Hey, Hollywood reporter, kindly report on everyone attending this event so the rest of us can be clear about who we don't want to work with. Thanks. His co star, Deborah Messing, followed suit, tweeting, Please print a list of all attendees, please. The public has a right to know. Joining us to react is host of the Michael Knowles Show, Michael Knowles. Michael, uh, unsurprising behavior from Hollywood here, am I right? What's strange about McCormack's tweet is last I checked, his show got canceled a month ago, so I'm not sure that he has the <laughs> chance to work with really anybody at the moment. But people keep comparing what he tweeted and what Deborah Messing tweeted to McCarthyism. What they did is far worse than McCarthyism. Joe McCarthy, for all of his faults, at least was going after communists. What these two actors are trying to do is go after people who support the American president, people who want to make America great again. That is far, far worse. And it shows you just how perverse Hollywood is. In 1999, when Elia Kazan won his honorary Oscar, you had major stars, Ian McKellen, Ed Harris, were sitting down. They refused to applaud for him. I wonder if those same stars will stand up against this type of McCarthyism. The one silver lining here is it's a la at least Hollywood showing their cards. You know, I know just just about every conservative in Hollywood because there simply aren't that many of us. It's a pretty small community. And I know a lot of people who have been blacklisted by the industry, who have lost a lot of money, who have lost a lot of work simply because they're conservative or they're Republicans or they're patriotic and they wear a Make America Great Again hat. And at least what this is doing is showing just how vindictive and, and just what an anti-American tenor Hollywood really has. Doesn't that scare you a little bit, though, that they're showing their cars? Because this stuff used to happen in private. Right. They used to try to blacklist people who, who were in disagreement privately. Now they're totally unapologetic. They feel like there's going to be no consequence. They feel like there's this collectivist bubble they live in. So they're just putting it out front and center. That makes me a little bit worried about what's happened to Hollywood even in the last couple of decades. I got to tell you, I sort of like the honesty. You know, Hollywood is very good at hiding its intentions. There are a lot of very good <laughs> actors out here. And I'm glad that they're at least showing what they really believe. You know, President Trump is excellent at this. He's excellent at making his opponents expose their true feelings. In 2016, he made Hillary Clinton come right out and say that she thinks half the country is deplorable and irredeemable. And it seems that Hollywood is expressing that mm. same thought right now. Let Americans judge. If they want to go to the box office, they can. If they want to turn on TV, they can. Otherwise, they can yeah. tune it out.